Well, welcome to this week's devotional. Hello, Lord of Life Church family. Uh, always a pleasure to uh, see if what creative thing I can do for you. So today, I have a special guest. I have an author uh, of a book that is has the title, I Am Me, by Scott Piner. And guess what? I have Scott Piner here. Hey, Scott. Hey, Lord of Life family. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to ask Scott a few questions. So um, let's get started. You know, one of the things, Scott, that I, as I read this this book, um, I just felt like I I I got to know you more. I mean, I, you shared some struggles, you shared shared some joys and some sorrows, and I, I was really impressed by that and how you could do that through words. So, what was the motivating thing that made you want to write this book? Well, number one is just to bring glory to God, um, really making sure that we um, recognize that we all have unique experiences. And so for our experiences, um, God's given things and circumstances in our life. And so like my life verse is uh, 1 Thessalonians 5, uh, 16 through 18, to be joyful always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances. And and so sometimes we don't know what those circumstances are. Um, are doing for us at that moment or why that God put something maybe in our life or how to, and you know, we sometimes we're angry or we don't know how to process things. So uh, I think this was kind of a culmination. The book was like a culmination of like 30 years of my life of processing a lot of things and trying to share that out, but trying to show the good that God has d done, the God, good that God is doing, the good that God will continue to do through our lives when we give him the glory. Oh man, I think you did a very, very good job of that, Scott, in this book. Thanks. There's one particular part in this book that really I, I was very touched by because um, the church means so much to me and the community of believers. And uh, Scott had one in particular that really I, I wanted him to talk about. So what was that poem, Scott? Well, I appreciate that, Kurt. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the poem uh, Kurt's referring to is called Church Is. And uh, it kind of came about with, for me thinking about, you know, what is church? Um, uh, theologian A.W. Tozer said, uh, we Christians are the church and whatever we're doing is what the, or was whatever we're doing is what the church is doing. And so we have to remember that, uh, you know, we're, we're the church, we're the body. And so the world sees that. And so how do we act? How do we respond? Uh, sometimes we fail, right? But sometimes we have to remember to keep our eyes set on Christ. And so therefore we can um, continue to do God's work. That's great. Why don't you read a little bit of it for us? All right. Church is. <clears throat> church is not a hymn. Church is not a pew. Church is not a homily. Church is not a few. Church is not a building. Church is not a cross. Church is not a pastor. Church is not a boss. Church is not religious. Church is not a show. Church is not a conference. Church is not how much we know. Church is not on Sunday. Church is not at 12th and Main. Church is not on Wednesday nights. Church is not what we attain. Church is the body where Jesus is the head. Church is the hands and feet that turn the cheek instead. Church is disciples who go and share God's news. Church is the bride of Christ who is Jesus, King of the Jews. Church is when we pray for those who are in need. Church is when we work for those we need to feed. Church is you and I who go and plant a seed. Church is you and I without a hint of greed. Church is love thy neighbor, no matter here nor far. Church is love for enemies, no matter how deep the scar. Church is for the sick, the weary who need God's rest. Church is for the messy, whose life feels like a quest. Church is for the broken and those who need to flee. Church is for the widows and orphans and all who cry, why me? Church is our love for God and all we say and do. Church is our way of life and Jesus we pursue. Church is what we do as Christians on the earth. Church is how we act to reflect Christ Jesus' worth. Church is to do good works, expecting nothing in return. Church is to do God's will, his glory our concern. Church is repentance, confessing our sin and shame. Church is forgiveness, releasing debt our aim. Church is restoration, healing those who seek his way. Church is rejoicing as we love, walk, and pray. And I tell you that I was so encouraged to read that and uh, to hear you say it too. 
And Lord of Life, I think you are the church, and you you display some of those things. When I was reading that, I was thinking, you know, we've got a long way to go because, you know, confessing sins and being real for one another, that's hard to do. But I think we're trying. And I really appreciate it, Scott. I appreciate you being here and uh, just sharing your your skill and your abilities and your passion for the Lord. So thank, thank you. Thank you, Kurt. So uh, I'll probably have to put a little um, little thing on the corner there so how to know how to pick it up. No. <laughs> so thank you, Scott. Thank you. All right.